Today we're going to be talking about something called the wealth effect and how when people feel wealthier, they might spend more money on things like rare plants. The wealth effect is a behavioral change in spending when people feel wealthier, when they perceive that they have more money, like when the economy is really good or the stock market's up super high and or if Bitcoin is at $100,000. Interestingly enough, it's not actually when people are actually wealthy, it's just when they feel wealthy, they might feel more calm to spend money on frivolous purchases like a Monstera Bulbasaur. For a lot of markets, as well as plant markets, there was a bit of a lull in like the 2022-2023 till 2024. It's been a rough couple of years. It felt like the market and stocks and house plants and sales of a lot of things have kind of like, we ran up to 2022 and kind of slowed down, lost some momentum. And now in late 2024, I guess after the election or whatever the case might be, things are taking off in my eyes kind of irrationally. I don't think we're in that good of place. There is the case that house plants might follow this. And we did get an inkling of this when Sean from Only Plants went out to Asia and saw that Monstera prices were actually rising again. The plant market in Asia is thriving. Let me tell you this. In Southeast Asia, also in China. This one here is uh, 180,000 baht at this time. It's so beautiful. So this is the Monstera Electrolyte Thai Constellation. And only the top three cutting is 300,000 baht. So this is the uh, Monstera Viet Trung Sa. This is from the Deliciosa. I, I, I think it was a million baht last the show, I'm not sure. So this might continue in 2025. We might full blown be in a repeat of kind of like the dot com era of assets, really being fueled by things like GPUs and just really the overzealousness for AI and companies like Nvidia. That might actually translate into houseplants selling for more money and just about everything else. The messed up part of this is it's not actually that people are more wealthy and we have more money in our bank accounts. It's that just we feel wealthier because our retirement accounts are doing better. Our bank accounts are doing better. We're getting more interest maybe on high yield savings accounts. But this might actually inflate plant prices and hopefully not like groceries and other things more because of the wealth effect. And we always must remember that houseplants and more specifically rare aeroids that a lot of us try and chase and collect fall into that luxury goods category, which we don't need. It's definitely not a need, but it's something we want. And as income increases and people feel more wealthy, they chase things like designer handbags and caviar and things like rare aeroids. But I'd like to take a second and thank the sponsor of this week's video, Palm Street. No matter where houseplant prices go in the future, Palm Street, I promise you, will be one of the places you can get some of the cheapest most rare deals on plants. And they've now expanded into pottery and crystals and all sorts of other gardening-like goods that you're probably into. The nature of how the sales goes because they're live and you have to bid on them, that's where you get the best deals. Especially if they're like middle of the night shows or random off hour shows, join those low attendance shows to get some of the best deals because there's not as many people competing for those same plants. So use my code and link below to get some money off your first purchase. But I could definitely see some of the higher end plants starting to gain more traction in 2025, just like they have in recent months of 2024. You're definitely going to want to keep your eyes on the Anthurium world, definitely the Hoyas, and probably the Monsteras. But tune back in next week when we go over the hottest plants I think that are going to pop in 2025. And thank you guys for watching this week's episode. I'll see you in the next one.